Alright, hey guys, and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, this quick fly tying tutorial about this um, this fly right here, which I call the surf candy. This fly for me has been working really good, and uh, I usually before I just tied it with a material called shimmer fringe. Um, it's ice stub shimmer fringe, but I've um, it didn't quite hold up. Uh, it got chewed on quite bad, so. I decided um, I want a more durable fly, so what I did then was that I, um, instead of just putting the uh, shimmer fringe materials in it, I put um, some bucktail and um, also some ripple ice, ripple ice fiber. So um, that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to tie it down on a um, Arix hook. This is the NS. Uh, 122 in size 8 um, really nice hook it hooks really really good uh, any type of stinger style hook would be preferred for this type of fly so I want a quite short um, hook shank with a quite big um, hook cap so uh, yeah let's just uh, put a new hook in the vise and I'll walk you through it and then we see what's go. Cool. Let's go on down here. All right, so I'll stop by uh, touching the thread to the uh, hook shank. The thread I'm using now is a uni thread, uh, mono thread. Uh, the mono thread I really like because it gets uh, really transparent when coating it with the UE resin. So, the first materials we're going to tie in is some bucktail. And I'm not kidding you when I'm telling you that this is a really sparse fly, so uh, this is a bunch, but this is the bunch before I take out all the short fibers from it. So we just barely want about 10 ish strands or something from Bucktail. And we can say that the Bucktail is going to be about three hook shanks long. Uh, from the tying point, so I'll just put it there, put it quite on top of the hook, then just walk the thread down all the way to the hook bend. Um, the this is going to be like an underwing or something, so it's going to mainly hold the uh, the shimmer fringe in place. So next materials we're going to tie in is some ripple ice fibers. I'll just pinch the uh, and take a, a bunch. Then I'll put it on top of the, uh, the bucktail. And then I'll start with the thread a bit back. Getting just munching it down like this. All the way to the hook eye. Take all the fibers and put it backwards. Tie it in. If I just get it trapped, we can just sort it out with the hook point of the scissors, just like that. Then I walk the thread all the way to the hook, hook eye again. So we're going to tie in the uh, the shimmer fringe. And this is like laminated to uh, all the fibers are laminated like a mat. So it'll just uh, snip one end off like that. Take out a bunch like this and then reverse tie it. So I'll just put it underneath the hook on the hook shank. Reverse tie it like this, walk the thread back to where the laminated part is, snip that off, quite simple like that. Then walk it, walk the thread, uh, the thread back up to the hook eye. And we'll take another bit of um, shimmer fringe, this one in the color uh, peacock. You can basically tie it in whatever color you want, um, but uh, and I usually do go with the 
quite bluish, deep bluish color but I'm out of that so we'll do it in peacock um, by varying the uh, the um, the color you can actually imitate whatever bait fish you want then I'll pinch out some like um, uh, salmon pink colored flash that was from or Jensen but any kind of flash will do that's pink and get long fibers um, best would be to get um, shimmer fringe in the same color but because uh, that's actually available I'll just fold this peacock shimmer fringe backwards then I'll take the uh, the minnow mix pearlish color and then divide it by each side of the hook shank and the hook point and we'll soon have the tying part done put that backwards like that so we get a nice silhouette of the fly whip finish it I'll go with usually like to a double whip finish sort of habit uh, doesn't really matter because we're gonna glue the whole thing anyway but I do like that sorry for the hand in the lens right so now to the gluing part I'll go with the best resin that I found so far which is raid sap this I'll start with the one which is um, um, thin so we'll hold all the fibers backwards like this and then we make sure that we get resin on the the whole fly like this um, and it's not that picky to be honest this first one make sure that you the only thing that you actually want to make sure is that you get all the fibers where you want them right and then we sap it uh, about the raid sap it's absolutely uh, one of the hardest resins I've used uh, really easy to work with and cures immediately and absolutely attack free so that's a really nice discovery for me um, I used to go with Loon and all them they didn't really work out for me it's got all tacky and I needed varnish to get it absolutely tack free so now for the eyes um, I'm putting flat eyes on this one it's about 2 millimeters, 2.5 or something I don't really know which size they're on uh, I'll put them not basically at the hook eye but a bit way down like that and I'll attach them with this uh, the raid sap again just sap it and the eyes are there really easy uh, make sure that the you get the dab of glue basically where the uh, where the first eye is otherwise you get a fish with two eyes which are not on the same side I think that matters more for you than for the fish to be honest but it's always nice to make a nice fly if you got to put the time make it right so sap it again just like that and then I usually put gills on my fish because the bait fish in real life have gills and actually when small fish get um, chased by bigger fish they kind of flat, uh, has open up the gills so I think it's more of a trigger for the fish as well so now we're gonna do the last layers of glue um, if you are not too familiar with making heads on fishes and stuff like that make this one in like two or more sets and you just do one side each and then continue to the others do it more I'm gonna do this one in two as well 
because um, I would like my fish to have a nice profile on the head uh, a little bit bulkier on the head this also helps for when you fish is to fly that it actually jigs a bit um, which I also think triggers the fish so when you cure in with the light don't put it behind the eye, uh, ear as I saw, saw somebody else do that doesn't really work you need to get the light to the resin doesn't really matter which resin it is it's the same for them all I think so we're getting there but I kinda would like a, a little bump here on the head get a bit more bulky on the front so I'm gonna do this in sections start with the top and then work my way down to the bottom just a bit just like that then we'll do the bottom make sure you don't get too much resin on the bottom because that can create a problem when trying to hook the fish because you get too much resin and then the hook points kind of disappear that's not good that was the GoPro going out it doesn't really matter we'll do the outro later on so we do the other eye here just like that up it then we get a nice view of the rest of the fly as well then we just do the last last bit of head and here we go and there we have it the fish is almost done just some minor trimming to do um, I really like my to taper it out a bit so that it's a little bit more slim on the back of the fish all these fibers gonna sort itself out in the water so don't don't worry about them but now we're doing a video fly might as well do it nice for all you guys and there we have it, the Shimmer Fringe Bait Fish, or Surf Candy if you want, um, quite nice fly, to be honest, I really like it a lot, and it fishes really good, alright, so see you guys up there, and we do the outro, so guys, there you have it, uh, the Surf Candy I uh, hope that you like this fly, um, I'll try to do some more tutorials in English for all you guys because I know that uh, some of you guys have been asking for it, so I'll try to do that, um, bear with me because English is not my first language as it is Swedish, so it might be a bit, uh, yeah, what do you say, rough, but don't judge too much. So I hope you liked the video and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more coming up. Uh, might do some uh, some fishing videos and uh, having some plans to do some tutorials for beginners. 
devices and materials and all that. So stay tuned. Um, have a nice Saturday. I will. I'm going to tie some more flies and uh, tight lines to all you. Have a good. <laughs>